Hi there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is Fallout New Vegas, Episode 3. Alright, now when we left off, we had just saved this lovely young lady from being eaten up by all those geckos over there that uh, Sonny's walking to. Damn, look at that walk, girl. Woo! Alright, that's enough of me being a creepo. <laughs> just walk our happy ass back to Good Springs. Now, last episode we had been given a uh, opportunity to learn how to live off the land with uh, ingredients that you can usually find. You can usually find just growing out of the ground in this uh, weird apocalyptic wasteland, and uh, we're gonna walk to a uh, particular one right now. Uh, this is the schoolhouse, which is where one of them is. And I also need to go in there. I forgot there is a uh, couple enemies nearby. Technically, you don't have to swipe at them, really. Uh, I don't know why I picked those up. They're useless. I never found three of those in that spot before. That's new. Yeah, technically, you don't really need, uh, Mantis. Where, where is it? Mantis legs. Uh, four legs. There we are. Don't need those at all. Technically not useful. Uh, I could just be doing this with my fist, really. Ugh. Go in here. There's a whole bunch of them in here, so you need to be careful. Or, you know, you can just... I sworn you were able to step on them before. Hmm. Well, at least that's what I remember. You were able to step on them and kill them that way. Where's you? I'm gonna try and step on this one, because I know you can do it. I guess not. Oh well. Woo! Okay. This whole setup is completely screwed with my head. <laughs> nope. I need to turn the light on so I can see better. Somewhat. Okay. Now, there's an occasional chance you can find, uh. Yes, the eggs on them, which sell for a lot more than anything else on them does. Oh, that one's empty. And uh, also unlock this safe, which you can unlock two different ways. You can open it up that way or open it up through the uh, safe there, which is usually easier to do it this way because there's a whole bunch of programming digests that are scattered around this place. See, there's one right here, and there was one right next to it over there. Yeah, the intro I know very well, so, you know, I kind of can't help but not play blind on that. But, uh, if I remember right, I, uh, still have lock, spick lock picking skill. I cannot speak English, I'm sorry. Uh, I still have that tagged, so I can do this if I find the right spot. There it is. Pretty much like Skyrim's lockpicking mechanic there. Uh, there's that, that, that I don't need. That, 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 that. Usually there's some miscellaneous crap that you don't really need. And that makes it a broken terminal. So, that's how it goes. Once you circumvent something, it normally breaks it, so... Lesson in life, kids. <laughs> uh, don't circumvent things that you don't want broken. Oh, that's good. Um, there's usually some things in these desks. Sometimes there's not. Okay. Yeah, looks like this time not. Oh, well. Usually they're not that good anyway, just a couple caps. There we go. 
And there's up there, up near that water tower is where the next part of it is. Do I want pistol out or the rifle? I will go with pistol for now. And uh, of course, you always benefits to check these uh, as you pass by them because sometimes they uh, gather new stuff that they didn't have before. So it's always good to check them. Just on the off chance. Yeah, that still has a tin can that I left earlier. Uh, I'm actually going to check a couple of the ones up here. I don't think I checked that one either. No, I think about it. Yeah, that, ooh, fixing things. When you focus on repair, it's not as needed. But it's always good to have those magazines in a tight pinch. Coffee mugs. That's good in a DLC, not here, so I don't need them now. Okay, there's that. Guns. Again, something I don't need. Why don't you give me something I need? Tales of Chivalry. Again, something I don't need. What I need is the explosives magazine, which you don't want to give me. Well, fuck you, too. Okay. Oh. Come on. There we go. For some reason, my aim on this game has been way, way off. I don't know what it is, but I just cannot aim for shit. Uh-oh. That's starting to be a detriment to me. I don't have pistols to repair it with. Crap. Oh, but I do have a way to repair this hat. That I do need. Because I like the fedora. This one's technically more of a trilby, but I like the fedora. It's, it's a call to the old uh, gangster days, and I like that. Come on, how about you actually aim in the right spot, huh? There we go. That's, uh... I missed the first hit completely. Jesus, Hubert Christ. Alright, let's take... Oh, he decided to walk away. There we go. Sneaky. Not a sneaky kitty. A sneaky human. I'm a sneaky little bastard. Oh, that was... Come on, hit. Okay. Just gonna use bats on that. There we go. That helped. Okay, and... Am I gonna hit this one? Apparently not, as well as I thought. Come on, you little shit. Ah, crap. It's actually starting to degrade quite a bit, and I should not be shooting it right now. Finally, I can do it. Ugh. There, that's the stuff. Hostess. Sponsor. Totally not, though. Uh, the tobacco's really the only good stuff that's there. I'm gonna need to pick up a new pistol. Something that I can repair this one with. Rebound is a good sell, because it doesn't have any weight on it. Ooh, that's that's important later. Snow globes, useless baubles, basically. And uh, here's my uh, grave, where I was going to be dead, if not for Victor. And distinctive cigarette butts. You can collect these, or you can just leave them there. It's for a quest later. Um, I usually pick at least one up. But that's just me. You don't really have to. If you know how to do the game correctly. <laughs> anyway, there's that. That's the last thing we needed. And I think... There's still a couple more I can... Grave rob. Yeah, there we go. 12 gauge rounds. Those are actually good to... Break down... 
when you're uh, making pistol rounds and whatnot, because they give you pistol powder. Uh, so there's that, and they also give you a shit ton of lead, which is also good. I mean, again, you don't really need to worry about it if you're not immediately going to break them down and use the, you know, stuff they have. But it's always good to have a couple. I really need to repair this pistol. That, uh, blinking condition light is not making me feel good. So, let's see what I can do here. Recycle energy cells those I don't want to do um, I could let me see what I got for the shells uh, I don't have any primers though I could break down the these the 22 rounds because they're basically useless if you're into guns anyway uh, they have some use but not really so it's better just to break them down and we'll go ahead and go down to uh, Sunny. That's the word. I swear to God, my brain is just gone. Ah, sneak, which I don't need. Uh, that, again, I don't necessarily need that. Switchblade, that'd actually be cool to have on hand. No, I'm not really a Switchblade fan. I'm more of a Katana fan. Again, something I don't really need. God. Blessed. Jesus. Hubert Christ. No. Fuck a doodle. Uh, again, something I don't need. I'll keep doing that. I'm so used to Skyrim. Um. Oh. We could also. Howdy, partner. Hi, Victor. You could also go through Victor's stuff, and he doesn't mind you going in there and taking his stuff. There's stuff you could always use. To the town of I like that song, but I'm not listening to it. I don't need copyright strikes. Not right now. Scrap metals. Good to carry for repair kits. Which, if you get your repair skill high enough, you can uh, make them as many times as you want, which is always good. It's a good way to have a way to repair without having to carry the actual repairing weapon on you, which is good. It's always good. Speaking of which, I could probably use that right now. I have a couple because of the DLC. Uh, there we go. There we go. That'll work. And I'm also running out of pistol rounds. I just realized that now. Shit on a biscuit. Okay. Oh, well, at least I have this. <laughs> That's always good to do. Have a backup weapon just in case. And if that don't work, I got this. <laughs> but yeah. This is usually a good one to have because it gives you plenty of ammo at the start of the uh, whole game. Man, this walk is taking a while. I'll just this back just walk my ass over there this is beat down pretty hard wonder what happened there we bounce now we talk to sunny whoop that was a weird stutter oh can't do that yet I have to talk to her first let me see what you got you're pretty yeah these will do just fine just fine. Your red hair All right, is now. gorgeous. We're going to be making something folks on the trail I'm called Healing I'm being a nerd. Power. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay, I'll do that. There we go. Healing powder. Hey, that's not I bad, don't see? Need. All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Usually. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Mm -hmm. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop workbench or reloading bench whatever mm -hmm. well I hope that's enough to get you started well, definitely I'm is. heading back now hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox oh, you probably did Cheyenne would never forgive me hey do me a favor Trudy 
She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Mm -hmm. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Fair enough. I can do that. Hey, Pootie. Pootie. Oh, bow, bow. I do that with my dogs and they look at me like I'm insane. Which I am. Okay. Oh, there's this guy. I forget. Sometimes. This little douche nozzle. Okay. Talk to him. Hello? Can you help me? I can try. What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Mm -hmm. Please. She's going to die. Oh, jeez. Uh, where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. Uh, I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. All right. Will do. Zoom, zoomy, zoom, zoom. Go on ahead. Oh, yeah, I forget. Sometimes it does this. Um, rebuild character. Just so I can move the tags around. Uh, that, that, and that. Okay. And instead of lockpick, uh, it does help a little bit to have points in speech for this game anyway. Um, normally I'd suggest a more weapon-centric thing, but diplomacy does help in a lot of ways. Keeps you from being blown the fuck up. And we'll just go with the same ones we had before. Wild Wasteland and Hoarder. And we're good. Travel onward! Alright. Oop. I just realized there's uh, probably a gecko up here. There it is. Damn, he got bloodied the hell up. Oop. I've never seen one of those come out from that direction. Shit on a biscuit. Shit. Fuck. Come on. There we go. That does it. Whew. That was clutch. Like I said, I've never really seen them coming from that direction. Normally they're up there, so that was first on that one. Okay, let's again equip the rifle. Because it'll do me wonders. Okay. They are past those rocks and we won't see them right away. This one, I think, is stuck here. Nope. Yeah, he is. And if this actually works right, there it goes. We'll strike knocks him the fuck out. Oh. my hat that got hit. All right, that's, uh... Oh, you're gonna run? Really? Okay. That one's down, and oh geez. Whoop. Fuck you, little dude. You're a little shit. Where'd they go? Fuck. This is unusual. <laughs> uh, this is normally quite a fight. Not this much. Uh. Fuck. Come on, head. There we go. That's it. Oh, 
if now you run away as soon as I get a melee weapon out? Really? There we go. Where are you going? Little fucking mongoloid. Get over here. There we go. Ah, that's great. Uh, let's finish this one off. And off the head goes. Alright. That is always satisfying to watch. Um, let's drink a Sunset Sarsaparilla, even though it ups my uh, H2O need. Alright. Now I can uh, up my explosive skill a tad. And then try to up everything else as far as necessary. Mm. What I try to do is have guns and repair even. But that's just me. You don't necessarily have to follow that. Uh, I'm also going to bring lockpick up a bit too. But, yeah, let's bring those down a bit. Uh, put one more in the lockpick. Because these are affected by perception and my hat gives me extra perception. So we don't really need to bring them up all the way to the next level. But uh, I'll also put one in the melee. No, I'll put one in sneak. No. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Uh, put one in survival. And I'm going to go with intense training. Just so I can bring strength up a bit. So I have more carrying capacity. Alright, and it looks like we've hit the end of our episode limit on time. Uh, episode before got a little uh, over time quite a bit. Um, so we're going to stop this one here and make sure it's all good. Anyway, thank you all for so much for watching. Uh, if you want to hear my voice even more, just uh, click the subscribe button. And if you like the video or you want to see more just click the like button let me know also leave comments or share these videos with friends or family or anyone really because i'm lonely anyway um and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat signing off